Spencer. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, you're safe. Thank you for joining. All right. Uh, what do I want to say here, Cancer? The same old stuff, right? Um, this reading may not resonate with every Cancerian out there. It will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. There is a playlist link below if you'd like to check out your other signs for more messages and guidance. And then lastly, if you're new to my channel, I do give away personal readings each month. Uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. All right, let's get started, Cancer. We're going to pull a couple cards here from... Psychic uh, Tarot of the Heart, I believe. This is what this deck is called. Okay. All right, so the cards that you have here, you have the Crown Chakra and you have Embrace. Very, very interesting here. I feel there's some sort of rebirth or phase, new phase you're going through. Some of you here, I feel with this crown chakra, you may be actually receiving guidance from your, from your guides, your angels, okay, your loved ones who have passed on. Some of you may be going through a spiritual rebirth, right? Or a spiritual birth, I should say, okay? Growing spiritually. Um, you know, you have embrace here. I feel like this is basically saying, you know, the world is your oyster, you are manifesting, this is the creation of, the start of, the birth of, right, of something new. And if you look at this card, I love it because there is a heart, right, right in the center there. Okay, so there's something here that's birthing when it comes to love. Something new here that you are manifesting. And you maybe be given um, insights here, like I said, through your loved ones or your guides. Now, you do have the throat chakra. So I feel there's some sort of communication that is kind of come through for you and somebody here, okay? Or somebody is needing to speak up in this connection. So let's pull some tarot. Let's see what else comes out. You have number three, you have number five, and you have number seven. Definitely shows me here a progression. Progressive energy. Those numbers may be important to you. All right, let's pull some cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Cancer? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. We're going to pull two cards for your energy, two cards for your person, and then we'll get the mutual energy and clarify what's needed. All right, your energy there, Cancer. We have your person's energy. Get the mutual energy. Appearing in your reading, Cancer. You mostly do a lot. All right, let's put that over there. Okay. <clears throat> all right cancer let's get started here in your energy you do have the star card and you have the unknown card all right so you know what i'm getting a uh, cancer with this card okay you got strong um aquarius your energy very strongly here and you have pisces I feel there's a situation where you're trying to gain balance in a situation. You're trying to gain clarity. There's an element here of really feeling uncertain, uncertain, doubtful, um, or maybe just needing clarity in a situation. And this may be for your own healing, okay? Your own healing here. And whether you decide to be with a particular person or not, okay? I feel so far looking at this, I feel like this could be somebody you know, but I'm also feeling a newer energy as well. We'll see how it goes when we go through the reading. 
but I want to say at the bottom of the deck here, you do have the two of pentacles. So it shows me kind of a <clears throat> an unbalanced energy. So you may be feeling a bit unbalanced about this situation, or you may even be going back and forth about a particular person in your life. Okay. Should I or shouldn't I type of energy weighing your options? Or you could be dealing with somebody here where you've had an on and off relationship. Now, in your recent past, you do have the chariot, which is your energy. So you may have uh, moved on from a connection or a relationship. This could be your person as well. Remember, roles can be reversed. So take it how it resonates with you. In the heart of your reading, the center of your reading, you do have the strength card. I feel either it's you or somebody here is needing the courage to speak up. Okay, like I said, you do have that throat chakra. Um, I feel here too, your person that you are dealing with, somebody here is going through a spiritual awakening, I feel here, okay? This is that rebirth energy that I am seeing. Something is definitely manifesting here in the situation. We're going to clarify some of these cards, right? Now, in your near future position, you do have the Three of Cups, which can symbolize union. But it also, I feel here too, can be you just spending time with friends. It's also my engagement card, so we'll see where that goes when we clarify. And in your foundation energy, you do have the Page of Cups and you have the Death card. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio as well. I feel there is a new beginning happening here for you. This is that rebirth I'm seeing, a transformation. Now, there is a page of cups. This can be a new love coming in for you, but it also can be this person here reaching out to you, having something to say. We'll see where this goes. And then in your outcome position, you do have the justice card, strong Libra energy. Interesting, interesting, okay? There could be two... Um, I feel there could be possibility of somebody here and also somebody new, but there is some sort of justice, some sort of clarity and some sort of balance coming in for you. Okay. Now I feel here, this can be an energy where you're going to get the clarity that you need in a situation for your own healing, for your transformation, for this rebirth here I'm seeing, but uh, we'll see where that goes. Now, in your person's energy, we do have the Ace of Wands and we have the Nine of Wands, okay? So, with this Nine of Wands, I do feel this is somebody here who, they may be taking their time, what I'm getting here, but I also feel this is somebody definitely very passionate about you and I feel this is somebody who wants an opportunity with you. We'll see if this is somebody new um or this is somebody that you already know definitely strong fire energy could be dealing with an aries a leo or a sagittarius okay <clears throat> let's see uh let's clarify some of these cards let's clarify the chariot card thank you angels and spirit for your guidance Let's gonna, actually, I'm going to clarify in your energy, Cancer, the unknown card. Why is the unknown card here, please? Yeah, the five of pentacles. Okay, the four of pentacles. And bottom of the deck here, you have the ace of swords. So it feels like an energy right now that um, you're definitely wanting clarity. It feels like there's lack of communication between you and this person. And I feel, you know, there's an energy of feeling left behind, okay, or not feeling valued. And you may be holding back from this person because you didn't feel valued, right? Or this person, you know, whatever happened, they may have ghosted you, right? And I feel like you took the, the energy here of I'm just moving forward. I'm pursuing my goals, my dreams. And... um I'm going to say here too, you may have even cut this person out of your life because you have the Ace of Swords and you have the Six of Swords. So you may have decided to move on from this person, even though it may have been very painful for you to do so, all right? But it feels like you weren't getting the clarity or the respect or the value that you deserved in the connection. But let's see where this is going. Why is the Strength card here, please? Why is the Strength card here? Why is the strength card here? You have the six of pentacles. 
the King of Pentacles, okay, and you have the Page of Cups. So in the heart of your reading, okay, and you have the Seven of Cups. I feel what's happening here. I do feel there is a lot of feelings and emotions here. They're telling you to be strong. You also have strong Leo energy. I feel that there is somebody coming in here, okay? That's why they're telling you to be strong. You have the Six of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles, and you have the Page of Cups. There's somebody coming in here for you, I feel, that is pretty stable. Somebody here who is going to make the effort. And I feel for some of you, this could be a new person. If you're wanting new love in your life, I feel this is a new person. For others, it could be this other person here coming back around, okay? Wanting another chance, another opportunity. We'll clarify that as well. Now, you do have... The Seven of Cups, which tells me you can have options here. So you could have somebody new coming in here, and then you've got uh, somebody else here waiting, right? Or not giving up on the connection. Let's clarify now. Um, it's interesting. You have the Page of Cups twice here. Definitely seeing somebody here returning, flirting. May even be somebody already flirting around you. Let's clarify this Three of Cups. Why is the Three of Cups here, please? You have the Nine of Swords. You have the Moon card. And you have the Four of Cups. Okay. And bottom of the deck here, you have the Six of Cups. So I guess the Counselor, that there's somebody here in your past um, either it's you or them. Somebody is, you know, afraid of being rejected. I feel like this could be your person in the past. Okay, you do have the three of cups here. Somebody is feeling a bit worried, okay, a bit worried that uh, they may be rejected, right? Whether it's you or your person here, somebody here is wanting to reunite, okay, in the connection, either you or your person. Let's clarify you have the Page of Cups and you have the Death card, all right? I really feel like this is somebody you know, but like I said, it can be a new energy. Let's clarify this Page of Cups. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. Why is the Page of Cups here, please? You have the, look at that, the Ace of Pentacles and the Strength card. And remember, you have the Strength card here, too. Now, you do have the Four of Swords. All right, after a period of time of a break between you and somebody here, or maybe there's a break in just in your love life in general, I feel there is an, uh, an energy here coming in for you. Now, for some of you, this is a completely brand new person. For others, I do feel like this could be the return of somebody. We'll find out here uh, in your person's energy when we clarify. Again, Leo energy. But I do feel there's some sort of offer coming in for you that's going to build to something strong in the long term. Now you have the Four of Swords, you have the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. All right. So two people not looking at each other here. Um, I'm feeling more like this is somebody you know, but take it how it resonates with you. I feel that after a period of time of you and this person not speaking or poor communication, I feel this person is returning and they're returning with an offer. Why is the Justice card here, please? Why is the Justice card here, please? You have the Eight of Cups. You have the Knight of Wands. Two of Swords. Oh, wow. Eight of Swords. Let's get one more. King of Cups. Bottom of the deck here. Look at that. Oh, the Star card. Strong Aquarius energy. Okay, I feel cancer, th this person's returning, okay? Somebody who walked away or somebody that you walked away here is returning as the king of wands. But I feel an energy here that you're wanting some sort of justice here, maybe an apology or this person to make things right. And I feel it's an energy where you're very indecisive about this person, okay? And how you feel about this person here. Because this may be somebody here who wasn't giving you the time, the attention, or even expressing emotionally how they felt about you, okay? Somebody who definitely made you feel alone or left behind in the situation. But I feel the justice here is this person needs to make things right. They need to make things right. Um, 
<clears throat> and you want to make sure that this person is not just coming back around for the passion because I do see a lot of passion here from your person, okay? Bottom of the deck here, you have the star, you have the nine of pentacles. Because it feels, Cancer, like you're doing very well here, right? It feels like you're you're pretty grounded, stable. You may be doing well financially. Um, you have the nine of swords, okay? So I do sense here somebody is going to rush in. But let's see here. Why is the ace? Why is the um, nine of wands here? Why is the nine of wands here, please? This is your person's energy. You have the five of wands, the three of swords, and you have the eight of wands, okay? And you have here the six of cups, okay? So this person's definitely missing you, okay? They may have had some sort of struggle or something going on in their life. Um, something here that, you know, this can be the wounded warrior. They're taking some time to themselves to recover. So there may be something else going on in their life. But I also see here too, this could be somebody who was involved with other people or another person here. And they ended up getting heartbroken. All right. Or it just can be that they're struggling here, that they're definitely missing you. And their heart is hurting. And they want to heal things. Because I do see you have the eight of wands. So this person is definitely somebody who wants to communicate with you. I feel their energy. They want to come towards you. They want another opportunity. You do have the Six of Cups again, and you have the Ace of Swords, and you have the Six of Swords. Now, this may be somebody who lives at a distance from you as well, okay? Wanting a new start, wanting to communicate here as well. So Cancer, I'm going to take this to the extended. Um, we're going to look at this person, what they're thinking or feeling about you, their upcoming actions, love messages, and guidance. I feel there is a possibility here of new love coming in for you as well, besides this person. So we're going to look at that aspect as well. So I hope to see you um, in the extended Cancer. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.